Hey everybody, Egg Goats here, and I have a haul video for you today. Um, my husband and I decided to get away this weekend, and we also did a little bit of shopping while we were at it. Um, a while back I had gone to Walmart, and when they started putting out their spring and summer scents of candles and waxes and oils, and I came across this candle, it's called Wild Honeysuckle, and where I lived before, Honeysuckle was huge. It grew everywhere, and it smells phenomenal. And I found these candles. They have them on all different sizes, um, but I get the smaller jars because once the candle's done, I can use it to store stuff in. But it smells... If you know what Honeysuckle is, this smells dead on. It's just this sweet garden type smell. It's hard to describe, but it's called Wild, Wild Honeysuckle, so I picked up two of those. Then I came across, I get these waxes. I have an oil warmer, but it also works for waxes, and this one is called Chilled Berry Bellini, and it smells exactly like a raspberry Bellini. It smells awesome. And it comes with six blocks, and usually one block will last for a while. And it's just their Better Homes collection, and it smells almost identical to a Bellini. So if you've ever had a Bellini, this smells dead on to it. Then I picked up this one. It's called Raspberry Fizz. And, Jamie, I know you'll love this one because you love raspberry scent, and it smells like fresh raspberries and it's another just six block one then in their dollar bins um, I picked up some more measuring cups I got these ones and it's not to use for glitter but this very, the smaller one that's inside is the perfect shape for something I want to try to make with clay so I went ahead and picked these up they're only a dollar I picked up another USB flash drive to start storing videos and whatnot on there. So I picked up one of those. I picked up one of these containers. Um, Jamie had put these in her haul video. And I was able to find one. And they're perfect for storing just the little miscellaneous things. I also picked up another iridescent glitter. Um, I like the iridescent clear glitter because I think it kind of just adds a little something to gl certain glitter mixes. So I picked up another uh, just four ounce jar of that. And then this was another thing that um, Jamie had hauled in her her video. And. I picked up some, so I found some. I didn't find all the colors that she had, but um, I, thought, I saw that and I thought it would be perfect for different little nail tutorials and nail designs that I have in mind. So I picked up a gold, a blue, a rosy color, a green, which I love this green, and then I picked up like a, a deeper pink color. So that is what I got from Walmart. Okay, the next stop that we went to, uh, my husband needed to go to uh, Harbor Freight uh, and get some tools. And next door is Joann's. But while my husband was in Harbor Freight, he found me some more of these containers. This is a, a, a smaller one to the big ones that I have. Um, It's an 11 by 7, and then he found me a 9 by 4 container, and I'm going to use that to store different nail art items in, and they're relatively cheap. This one was like 3 bucks, and this one was 4 bucks, so it's not bad at all. And then, while I was in Jill Ann's, I picked up some more glitter, or some more sticker books for the summer. I've got this one. It's fun in the sun. And it's just got different seahorses and stuff in it. Fishes, sand buckets, and uh, sand castles and whatnot. 
I got this L1. It's got different owls and flip flops and ice creams and stuff. And then I got this pom pom pool party. And it's got different animals with floaties, balloons, um, sand buckets, monkey on a bicycle, stuff like that. So I picked up those. And um, they had their, already started marking down their St. Patrick's Day stuff. And I found these rhinestones and I got, they're originally a dollar, but they're 50% off, so I got them for 50 cents. So I picked up the last four they had. And they've got dark green, silver, gold, a light green, and then dark green and clear again. And they have these little white sticks on, stickers and things on the back. But with tweezers, these things are really easy to pull off. And then you have a nice flat back to use for nail art. So I grabbed some of those. And then for I used my 40% off coupon to pick up some more cutters for clay. It's just got various shapes in there. And then um, I use I buy the spools of the um, 24 gauge wire to make my own eye pins when I do my clay charms because when you buy the already sized eye pins and you're making little charms you end up wasting a lot of that eye pin and you're wasting a lot of material well, this allows me to control how big I want my eye pin to be without wasting any and all I do is just use the round nose pliers to make a loop and then I grabbed these two glitters and they're crystal when I was comparing them to the iridescent um, they didn't, you know, these don't have the iridescent look to it, but for some reason I thought they were white, but they're really clear. So I can still use them um, in different mixes, but they weren't what I was expecting. And then uh, in their Easter section, this was the last pack they had, but these are just uh, Easter colors. There's dark blue, light blue, purple, pink, and clear, and a lighter pink, and they have those white stick stickers on the back, but like I said, those can be pulled off very easily with some tweezers, and they also had um, these ones that have butterflies, flowers, and some smaller rhinestones. They also have those stickers, which can be pulled off, so I picked up four of those. And then when I was in the checkout line, I saw this really cute little notepad, and it reminded me of um, Little Honey Bee 4, so I picked this up for her, and I'll be doing that off to her this week. And that was everything I got from Joann's. Okay, the next place I went to was Michael's, and... Um, I got this, I picked up this stamp, it's a cherry uh, stamp, but the cherries are in the shape of hearts. I got that for summer, because summer's coming up. Um, my husband picked up another fine writer pen, he uses these for drawing. And then he found these cute little clover good luck type charms. There's different clovers, uh, horseshoes and wishbone but he wanted this clover so we went ahead and bought that and he bought the kit used to make it the necklace so that was for him and then I found some more stickers there and this is groovy owl and it's got these different pastel color type owls and then neon color owls and peace signs and uh, flowers. I picked up one of those. I got Welcome Spring and it's got gnomes and flowers and ladybugs and um, caterpillars and different gardening type 
related things. A frog and galoshes. That's cute. I picked out this. I got this. Um, it's a jungle out there. And it's just got the little animals. And you have lions and rhinos and monkeys and tigers. I picked up this one. And when I picked this one up, it reminded me of Melissa Merritt. Because she loves ladybugs. And... It's got all these different ladybugs, but they're used. They look like buttons. They have their their spots are buttons, and so I thought that was cute. It's got all different ones, and then the last one I picked up, um, Lori Townley 67 is hosting another swap, and it's a circus swap. And I saw this in their dollar bin, and decided I had to have it for the swap, and it's got these little animals that are circus theme animals so I grabbed those for that then I picked up some more paper um, I use this to make my rings I'm trying to make a whole bunch of rings before I actually make a video on them but I got some lime green zebra stripe these ones with the different baby feet I got this yellow one for summer and a cheetah print and then this one with all these different little cupcakes on there, which is perfect for each different ring. So I grabbed those. Then over in the glitter section, um, I have several of these, but they actually had them down to 49 cents. So I went ahead and grabbed some more while I could. This is called Grape. It's a grape color. Really nice purple color. Uh, this one's called Pumpkin. This one is Glitzy Pink. Uh, ch uh, chocolate. And Cotton Candy. So I picked up those. And at my Michaels, they were all 49 cents. Then I went ahead and used my 40% off coupon and picked up another... Um, bottle of the TLS, the Translucent Liquid Sculpey Clay. This is perfect for whenever you're making charms and you want to make like a frosted look or you make it look like something was dipped in chocolate or whatnot. This is great to have. So I picked up another one of those. And then I used my other, they had a 40% off any acrylic paints, paint brushes. And so I grabbed another set of paint brushes for when I use, um, when I put different designs on my arts and crafts. And they have these rubbery handles, which is nice. And then I went ahead and decided to stock up on note cards, um, especially when you're just sending somebody like a single item. It's easier just to put them on a note card. Um, well, before I show you that, let me show you these. I also found these, and they're rhinestones and pearls of all different sizes and colors. And then I got it in blue. And these also have just the stick back that you can just pull off. So I picked up those. They're only a buck a piece, so why not? And now with the note cards, I went ahead and stocked up on them. Um, and I got this one because it was they represent um, the patterns that you go buy at Walmart or Joann's from back in the 60s and 70s, um, how they, the patterns looked. Well, they made them into note cards. So it says, be glamorous. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed some butterfly ones um, for spring. And I got this butterfly. In this butterfly and then I found these ones these are kind of vintage shabby chic looking and it's a butterfly but you can see the, the vintage shabby chic look and then this one reminded me of Jamie it's got um, a peacock dress and it's a mannequin with peacock feathers and stuff another vintage shabby chic look And then I picked up 
these nap these owl card note cards and it's blue and I picked up one in pink okay so that was everything I got from Joann's and I have one last place for y'all okay the final place I went to was my uh, the Dollar Tree that is in the town that's near me um, I picked up this pill organizer exactly the last one they had they never really have them but it's two, a two week pill organizer and all I do is just take some acetone and just remove the lettering but I'll be able to store different spangles and whatnot in there so I grabbed that um, I picked up a few more packs of the Mellers picked up a pack of hand sanitizer because you can never have enough of this stuff. I got Ocean Breeze, Pomegranate, and Lemon Scent. I picked me up just a nail brush from there. I found these really cute emery boards and I love green and black so I grabbed those. Then I can't remember who hauled these in their video but they were these um, sand art bottles so I picked up this one that has just the yellow purple and green and then I picked up the glow in the dark one that has um, orange purple and green sand in it I really wanted the funnel so I grabbed that and then I grabbed as many as I could and when I go back into town I think I'm going to go back and grab more if they still have them. Um, they had these glitter packs and there is two, four, six packs in each, um, in each one. And normally, I don't know about this brand, but normally when we buy these, they come in bigger sets, but they're like $3.99 a piece. So, I grabbed, this one's got pinks and reds and purples. So I grabbed two of those. And let me, let me try something. I already adjust the camera a little bit. So I grabbed two of those. This one's got all different blues and greens, dark blues, light blues, down to green. So I picked up two of those. Then I got some earth tone ones that have golds, bronzes, and browns in it. And then this one's got white iridescent. I'll try to see if I can get the light white iridescence and blacks in that and so I picked up four of those so like I said these were all dollar piece and when I go back into town I'm going to stop by there and see if they have any more I hope they do if they do I'm going to grab a whole bunch more but that was everything I got from Joann's that's everything for this haul so I hope you all enjoy and make sure to come back and see me soon have a great weekend